Hi guys, it's Emma from Emma Lou Books and today I'm bringing you what fandoms mean to me. So, I don't know if a lot of you know, but my actual fandom experience started on Facebook. So there was a Hunger Games page that I had liked that was looking for an admin and I basically messaged the page and they gave me a trial which turned out to, you know, just accept me. And my... I can't remember the page name because I don't think it actually exists anymore, unfortunately. But my admin name was Sinner because he's my favourite character out of the Hunger Games trilogy. Um, I know how unfortunate that ends, but <laughs> he was my favourite character. So I started admining the Facebook page when the first Hunger Games film came out and the build up towards the film. And then after that, I admined up until Catching Fire, I think. And the turning point from Facebook to Twitter for me was when Catching Fire came out. I had a personal Twitter and a lot of my friends from college were on this Twitter and I had about 150 followers, give or take a few. And they didn't appreciate when it was the Catching Fire premiere, the world premiere in London, that I was retweeting all of the live tweets. I started finding fandom accounts and started following, so I had all of those tweets as well. And I think I retweeted about 200 tweets in 40 minutes. When you think about that as a fandom account, that's not bad. If a trailer comes out, you're retweeting like 100 retweets. And that's crazy, you do that in about 10 minutes now. But to someone that has 150 followers and their timelines of the people around them are usually pretty small, you then pack their timeline and they are not happy with you. So then I decided to set up my own Twitter account that was purely fandom. I didn't post any sort of selfie or relation to who I was. I didn't follow any of my friends. I actually blocked some of my friends from my account so they would never find me. I never interacted with anyone that was in like my hometown just because I didn't want people to find out how geeky I was and try and take the piss out of me basically. But yeah over time i just accepted it people saw my account and then i now actually have friends from my everyday life following my twitter account which i never thought would have happened because i never intended it to happen at all but gradually i stopped tweeting on my personal account so i was telling people look this is my new account please go follow and they all did they all followed my new account and now i have just short of 3200 followers that's right 3200 um and that is crazy i didn't think you have to be really careful because you don't think that 3200 you see it as a number but really it's your tweet is going out to all of those people and then if someone retweets it's going out to all of their followers too so when you have that many followers you have to be really careful with what you tweet and i think even on social media even if you have like five followers or two followers or just anyone can see your posts and they're up there for life no matter if you post them and then take them down someone could have screenshot someone could have saved it's going to be on the internet for life you have to be really careful and to me that's what i love about social media i absolutely adore social media i go on twitter goodreads and youtube usually before i get up when i'm laying in bed and I do check my Facebook occasionally and I post occasionally. I probably check my Facebook every day, um, but I don't post daily. I think, one sec, I'll find out the last time I posted on Facebook. So my actual last physical post, obviously I share videos and things. My last physical post came from Goodreads. <laughs> Um, because my Facebook's connected up to Goodreads. So I will actually find a post that I wrote. So my actual last Facebook post that I wrote myself and wasn't the share of a video was on the 1st of August and it was saying happy birthday to my mum. That should tell you how much I Facebook post. <laughs> I just find social media is a huge part of everyday life now and it's really good to connect with fandoms and find friends that you wouldn't normally find. I have two of the most amazing friends in the world on Twitter and one of them lives in California and the other one lives in Portugal which is crazy for someone from the UK. So 
having people from all over the world is really exciting and a big shout out to Casey which is at VA underscore family I'll leave her link in the description and also Adriana from Portugal I will also leave her in the description box below I believe her her username on Twitter is at lovedkillednewt maybe still from the Maze Runner but she does change it so I'm sorry if that's wrong Aid um, usually I just type in aid and it comes up <laughs> so that's it for today and I'll see you all very soon with a new video if you have any comments down on about social media and if it's a good or bad thing for fandoms or just in general life please let me know and I would love to have a discussion with you in the comments because I think social media is very important in today's society that's it and I'll see you soon bye